Good morning. It's uh, sort of a beautiful, misty morning. And uh, I, I have a, a thought for today more than uh, something that I felt like God showed me this morning in my time with him. But it's something I felt like he said yesterday. And um, he said it through a, a podcast. And I was listening to a podcast and it was an interview with a pastor whose name is Steve Cuss. Uh, I don't even know where Steve is a pastor. He was just being interviewed on a podcast I listen to regularly. And Steve said this. He said in this time of um, COVID-19, but he was really talking uh, about all of life. When we experience grief and loss, uh, when we experience grief and loss, we have to name those losses. And then this is what he said that... Um, that I've heard before, but really spoke to me. He said, it's not just naming the loss, but we really work through the stages of grief, anger, denial, but it's really when we come to acceptance, when we come to acceptance that we are working through our grief and our loss. And that really spoke to me today because I am, or yesterday, because I'm so wired to push and pursue and make it better. And it was a reminder that a part of emotional health in life is naming what I wish was different. But then when I come to the place that I accept it, whether it's uh, a gap in uh, someone I love, whether it's uh, a situation in my life that I was with, I wish was different, whether it's something big or something small, even smaller things in life, it's only an acceptance that I find healing and wholeness and I uh, can really move on in my grief. So anyway, uh, I just want to offer that to you today as you are experiencing loss or you have things in your life that you wish were different, name them, write them down, grieve them, experience the sadness that things are not as we wish they were, but then uh, be encouraged that, and then maybe this is just for type A people like me, um, the answer in health is not to work harder or push them to make them better. The answer is acceptance. And in acceptance, God is able to change me. And that's just what I experienced yesterday, a real freedom in my heart as I uh, received acceptance for some things in life. So uh, love you. Hope you have a great day. See you later.